Minamahal kong kapatid, welcome po dito po sa ating gawain sa Maranaka International Baptist Church of Maragundon. Physically, nandito po kami ngayon sa gawain po sa lugar po ng panambahan dito po sa Maragundon. And we're so glad because kasama po namin ngayon ang mga ilang kapatiran na nandito po ngayon. Siyempre, ang pamilya ng ating mahal na pastor, Pastor Ramiro Adona, kanyang may bahay, si Teacher Ned Adona, at kanyang mga anak ay nandito. Isang po ng mga magagawa sa lugar na ito. I am so glad na kayo po ngayon ay meron pong join uh, worship, uh, worship service ngayong hapon na ito, ang Maranata International Baptist Church at ang Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church Mission ng Nai Cavite. Inanyayahan ko po kayo lahat na sumahan po kami sa panambahan ngayon. Dito po, physically, nandito po kami ngayon, nakuupo sila lahat at uh, ngayon po ay nananambahan po para sa pagpupuri at pagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Ngayon, hindi na ko natin matatagalit. Tawagin muna natin ang ating leader. Tawagin muna natin ang ating nagpapagpaawit, si si Riley Adona. Ngayon po yung lahat na ito ngayon at tumawin para sa point noon. Ganda nga po po sa mga nakakapanood po ng ating live. Tsaka sa mga nakakarinig po ng palakas timid na ito. Amen. Gantayin po natin na faith is the victory.
Diyos, marami po salamat sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po sa pagtitipon-tipon namin, Panginoon, upang makapanambasin niyo, Panginoon. Tuwa po ay patawarin niyo po kami sa aming mga kasalanan, sa aming naiisip na sa sabi at nagagawa, Panginoon. Nawa po ay marami pa po pong makapakinig, Panginoon, ng preaching na ito, Panginoon. Marami pa po pong makapanood at marami pa po pong may mas matutunan, Panginoon, sa aming mapapakinggan, Panginoon. Kayo din po ang magbigay ng katalinuhan, kalakasan sa magsasalita ngayon, Panginoon. Nawa po ay uh, kayo po ang mag-ingat at magpala yes, sa aming marami, Panginoon. Nawa po ay matapos na itong COVID na ito, Panginoon. Mawala na po. Yes, ay. Ito po ang aming sabat na sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Brother Riley and Donna. Thank you so much for leading us into worship. And now, makakarinig po tayo ng special number. Before we hear special number, ay nang ng message po, makakihintay ng uh, special number po. Of course, tawari po natin ang natatanging bilang. Sister Adret Donna. Amen. special and I'm really blessed with that singing that song the message of songs it's really an encouragement for us you know so talaga namang ang, ang awit na yan ay nagbibigay mo sa atin ng encouragement no kapag minamahal po natin ang ating Panginoon mas lalo po tayo nakararamdam ng isang maganda at maayos na pamumuhay sa Panginoon okay amen so ngayong umaga tayo hapon po ito tayo po dadako na po sa ating pag-aaral 
So magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Amen. I'm so glad that we are here physically in our church. This is the first step of our uh, quarantine, no? our uh, GCQ. This is the first step, the first step na kung saan ay uh, sinusubuhan nun natin na magkaroon ng new normal life after the ECQ. And now, sana sa pagkakit ng second wave ay hindi talaga dumami, mag-escalate yung infection po, yung infected na infection po ng virus because uh, by base on history, ganun po yung nangyayari, no? Pag may mga second wave, no? Yung pag nagkaroon ng, ng chance na makalabas ng tao because of the excitement, na no, talaga naman kahapon nga, nasa SM kami, SM Press, eh, bumili kami ng papel, ay nakita namin talaga na yung mga tao, ang dami tao na sa SM. We really enjoy yung pagpunta sa SM. And guess what? First time yesterday, nagkaroon naman ng traffic sa EDSA. And going also to Marikina and uh, uh, Marcos Highway, talagang sobrang traffic. But anyway, ay uh, pag-pray po natin na talagang hindi ho mag-escalate ito po itong ating uh, uh, infection po ng virus. Okay, so muli po tayo po ay mag-aaral po ng salita ng Panginoon. I am so glad and happy and thankful because my pastor, our pastor, Pastor Adona, ay uh, binigyan mo tayo ng chance to have a joint uh, worship service to, uh, this afternoon. And, and of course, uh, let's continue to pray for our pastor, yan po sa Anaheim, California, USA, uh, na magawa niya yung kanyang uh, mission that he may able to visit some churches and uh, some pastors na naka-schedule sa kanya supposedly ng mga last month, no? last month and last, I mean, two months ago, eh, dahil nasa COVID po, sa pandemic, he, na, he, na, he was not able to come and visit those churches. And, and by the way, uh, I know, mayroon lang po siya mga schedule, no? and he has a schedule, I think, by next, after this this lockdown ng kanilang uh, biyahe, going to some states, no? uh, I think, he will go into uh, Pastor Dar Miller, the Maranatha Baptist Church, Nakano, Texas, USA. And the brethren from Maranatha Baptist Church are so much excited to see our pastor, Pastor Adona. Talagang, sabi ni Pastor Darrell, we were so glad and excited to, to meet uh, Pastor Adona because uh, hindi niya pa nami-meet si Pastor Adona ang ating pastor po. Because na nandito siya ay nasa ibang bansa naman ang ating pahal na pastor. So please continue to pray for him as well as his family, as well as the brethren na ating pong uh, uh, nandun po sa sitwasyon po. Okay, so if you have your Bible, let's open our Bible in Psalms chapter 56. Psalms 56 verses 1 to 11. But our key verse na pag-aaralan po in verse 3, verse 2, and verse 11. So let us read the psalm, psalm chapter, psalm chapter 56 verses 1 to 11. If you have your Bible, please read your Bible physically. So ang sabi po rito sa verse 1, Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppressed me. My enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me. O thou most high. Verse 3. What time I am afraid? I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will no fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger cast down the people, O God? Thou stolest, thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into my bottle. Are they not in thy book? Verse 9. When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. Amen. And verse 10. In God will I praise His word. In the Lord will I praise His word. In verse 11 says, In God, in God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid. What man can do unto me? This is the prayer of the psalmist, King David, ang, ang the musician, ang sabi niya, ay, uh, this is a time of distress. So, ngayon po, tayo po ay uh, tutungo po sa ating pag-aaral. The key verse that we are most, more focusing is the verse, sabi ko, what time I am afraid? 
I will trust in Thee. At sa verse 11, sabi niya doon, In God, I have put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. We will see here in Psalms 56 kung paano ang mga awit, ang manmanunulat na ng mga awit are experiencing or engaging in distresses. He was in the situation that he is distressed. Today, I would like to encourage you. Alam ko lahat po tayo, we are in the situation of distress. We are feared, we have an anxiety. But I would like to encourage you, by our title na pag-usapan po ngayon, Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Hayaan mo ang iyong pananampalataya ay higit na maging mas malaki kaysa sa iyong takot. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. And we praise you, Father God, as we come to you and listening and, and, and studying your words. Father God, we ask your Holy Spirit to move in our beings today. Help us, Father God, that we may be able to understand what is the very message of yours today. The scripture that we read a while ago. The musicians, the psalmists who are in the times of distress, nakita niya, tasumpungan niyo, Panginoon, ang kalinga at ang pag-asa mula sa iyo. Let this word and also this message an encouragement for us that even though we are in a situation in times like this, we know that God is with us and keep us safe and sound. Lord, we thank you. Bless us, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. May kita ho natin dito sa binasa po natin sa book of Psalms chapter 56 that the psalmist struggled with fears. Ito pong mga awit po ay nagkaroon po ng struggle sa kanya pong takot. He was surrounded by enemies. Most of us can also identify in this situation. Ikaw at ako, ito pong sitwasyon po ng mga awit po na ito na sumulat po ng Psalms, may kita po natin that he was surrounded by enemies. He is in the times of distress. Marahil ikaw rin po, ako po ay nakaka-identify po sa taong ito, sa mga awit na ito, sa sitwasyon po natin, sa buhay po natin ngayon, alam po lahat po tayo nakakaranas po ng distresses. Lahat po tayo nakakatakot, nakakaranas ng fear. Just like what happened right now in our situation. We are in a situation na kung saan, para pag nakita mo lang yung tao, nakatakot ka na, baka feeling mo mahahawa ka na. Takot po yun. Nagkukos po sa atin yun ng anxiety, na parang feeling natin, lalo na sa mga tao hindi lumalabas, Yung talagang nag-quarantine, yung nag-lockdown talaga, tapos kapag lumabas ka, sumakay ka ng mga transportation, mga, yung mga tricycle, parang feeling mo yung lahat ng tao, may sakit na may kakausap ko. Nandun yung enemy, nandun yung fear, nandun yung stress, nandun yung anxiety. Alam nyo, ito po yung struggle po ng psalmist. He was struggled with fears. At makikita natin dito, ang tamot po o yung fear is the enemy of faith. Alam niyo ba yun? Yung takot, kalaban nito ng pananampalataya. Alam natin that God is in control, God is in throne and He is in control, that God is able to help us, that God is able to keep us safe and sound. But sometimes because of fear, natatakot tayo, baka mahawa tayo. Natatakot tayo, baka magutom tayo. Natatakot tayo kasi hindi na tayo nakakalabas ng bahay. Natatakot tayo kasi baka yung girlfriend ko, no, yung girlfriend mo, paglabas pagkatapos ng lockdown, hindi mo na girlfriend. No? Baka iba-iba ng boyfriend. <laughs> maraming takot because of this pandemic. Maraming takot. And sometimes, yung takot po, parang hindi na po natin napapractice yung ating pananampalataya. Why? Because fear is the enemy of faith. Yung takot po, kalaban po yan, kaaway po yan ng, ba- ng, uh, ng, ng pananampalataya. And fear loves us of the best in life. Ano niyo ba yun? Yung takot po. Yung takot po, ninanakaw niya. Yung pwede magkaroon tayo ng magandang buhay. Yung takot po sa atin, yung takot po nararamdaman natin because we are fear and we have an anxiety. Nawawala tuloy yung enjoyment. Nawawala tuloy yung excitement kasi parang feeling mo, parang noid ka na, parang feeling mo lahat ng katabi mo ay merong COVID. Kasamantala yung katabi ko may COVID. Hindi COVID, COVID. <laughs> Imagine that, ako, hindi ako napaparanoid sa COVID, napaparanoid ako sa mga namumupit. Merong isang mayor, di ba? COVID-19, naging COVID-14 na ito, COVID-15, nababasan. But anyway, that's a joke. 
No, we will see here, yung tamot po, it will rub our best life. And we will see here, that this psalmist struggled with fears, this psalmist was in the times of distress, alam nyo, it is very timely to study the word of God in the book of Psalms. We will see here that trusting God, trusting God trades faith for fear and bringing us a peace in life. When we trust God, when we put our trust in the Lord, our confidence to God, we will able to trade our faith for fear. And we will experience peace of mind. That is the very important thing. That if you trust in the Lord with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your soul, I guarantee you, that you may able to say that your faith is bigger than your fear. There is no big fear. There is no big problem compared to our big God and compared to our big faith in the Lord. That's why today I would like to share with you what ano yung ginawa ng psalmist for him to be able to overcome his fear. Para siya ay malagpasan niya, ma-overcome niya yung takot sa kanyang buhay. I cannot guarantee to you na ako kaya kitang tulungan para matanggal yung takot mo by encouraging you a kind words or encouragement word. But I guarantee you from the word of God, from the very word of God, I guarantee to you that the Lord God will be able to help you to overcome your fear by practicing and exercising your faith in the Lord. Tonight, I would like to share with you how can we trade our fears for faith? How can we say that our faith is bigger than our fears? Number one, sabi po dito sa binasa po natin, in verse, says 1 and 2 ng Psalms 56, sabi dito, Be merciful unto me, O God. Maawa ka sa akin, Panginoon. Why? Ano sa bakit sinabi ito ng, ng Salmi? Sabi niya, For man would swallow me. He fighting daily oppresses me. Alam ko, lahat po tayo nakakaranas po na ito. Kahit wala pa ng COVID, nakakaranas tayo ng oppression. Parang feeling natin yung mga tao sa paligid natin, lagi tayong kinakawawa, lagi tayong binibigyan ng kapagibian. Meron siyang daily fight, meron siyang, meron siyang daily battle ng kanyang buhay. Kaya nga sa verse 2, sabi niya, my, uh, my enemies would daily swallow me, for they be many that fight against me. Ang daming kalaban ng mga sadness. Ganon din po sa buhay po natin, ang dami nating kalaban kaaway araw-araw sa ating mga buhay. Ito yung panalangin po, ito po yung awat ng psalmist. Anong ginawa po ng psalmist? Ang sabi niya, face fearful prospects. He knows na marami siyang kalaban. Siguro yung kalaban niya pa lang yun, hindi pa yung buhos. Hindi pa yung talaga yung final wave. Kaya nga sabi rito, for us to be able to say that our faith is bigger than our fears, let us face fearful prospects. Harapin daw natin yung mga ini-expect pa natin, mga takot. Harapin daw natin yung mga, yung mga takot na iniisip pa lang natin na parating pa lang. For us to be ready, for us to be exer- to exercise our faith in the Lord. For our, us to be able to say that our faith, my faith and your faith is bigger than our fears. We will see here, the psalmist says, let us face the fearful prospects. No, the psalmist po, ito pong nanulat po na ito ng book of Psalms. Itong mga awit po, hinarap niya po yung takot sa kanyang buhay. He faced his fears. And we will see here that people wanted to destroy him. Ang gusto ng tao, si Ryan, itong mga awit ito, si King David, gustong si Ryan, si King David, maray ikaw na kristyano, gustong si Ryan, ang buhay mo, pananampalataya, maray ang problema mo ngayon, may gusto si Ryan, ang buhay mo, pananampalataya. And this kind of situation that we have right now, the fear that we have right now, trying to, to destroy us, trying to, to become our lives miserable. And this fear oppress us continually, just like what happened to this psalmist. Fear oppress him continually. Tuloy-tuloy po yung kanyang pagbibigay ng kapigyatian dito sa mga awit ito. Marahil ikaw kapatid, you are also experiencing a oppression continually. Siguro ay parang feeling mo yung pagiging lockdown, ay parang feeling mo tuloy-tuloy yung pagbibigay ng kapigyatian sa'yo kasi parang hindi ka sanay. Yun know, talagang na, na ako ay na, na-admire sa mga tambay at walang trabaho. Mahirap pala talaga ang maging tambay kaya Riley, ano? 
Kaya hindi ngayon, hindi ko na sila alipustahin, hindi ko na sila aasarin na wala kayong trabaho, ang tatamad nyo. Ang hirap maging tamay, kapatid. Nakaka, nakakasakit ng ulo. Can you see here? Face our oppression. Let us face our fears. All of us will experience fears, oppressions. Ikaw at ako, nung naging kristyano ka, tinagam ba si Kristo, binang Diyos at nagpapagiligtas mo, it is guaranteed for you to, 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 to not experience fears, oppression, or yung takot ng kapigatian. All of us, we will experience that even though you are Christians, even though you are not Christians, believer and believer, all of us, we all experience this kind of oppression. But the good thing is, we have God who is able to help us. You know, sometimes itong oppression po, itong takot po na ito, itong, itong kapigatian ito, listen to this, sasabi po ito, oppression comes because of our financial fears. No, nowadays, maraming taong takot na takot, maraming taong gusto nang sumuko. Why? Because nagugutom sila, wala silang pera, they are not financially stable. Wala kami na, wala kami na, na save. Tapos, gusto nyo na kami magtrabaho, dapat tulungan nyo kami. Because of this kind of oppression, itong takot na ito financially, ikaw sa kanila ng kapigatian. Or marahil ikaw ay na-oppress because of people we fear. Takot ka sa tao, o takot ka sa mga tao na nasa paligid mo, na parang feeling mo, luloko ka yung kasasaktan ka. Or maybe you are fear because of your future. We are oppressed because we fear about our future. Hey, listen to this. God is in control. God is in control. That's like, that's, that's what yung ginawa po, that's yung ginawa ng, ng Panginoon dito sa mga awit, sa manunulat na ito, sa musician na ito, kung paano siya ginabayan ng Panginoon, kung paano siya iningatan ng Panginoon. We are not exempted to experience this kind of oppression in our lives. Hindi na tayo exempted po. Dito po sa oppression, hindi sabihin ng oppression po, yung kapigatian, yung kalungkutan. You are not excited about this. No, alam ko si teacher na, sinina na, malungkot na malungkot niya. Kasi how many months na niya hindi nakikita ang ating mahal na pastor? Three months, could you imagine that? Alam niyo, sa totoo lang, ang hirap ng ganun. Nagkakaroon ka ng anxiety. Di ba? Parang ang bigat-bigat sa loob mo. Parang ang hirap-hirap sa iyo. But how can she able to overcome that? Could you imagine that? It is by the grace of God. It is the power of God who the one helped her to overcome this fear, this oppression. Yung kalungkutan ay dinudulot sa kanya ng takot na baka mag-isa siya o kalungkutan ako ano pwede mangyari kay Pastor Duo sa Anaheim, California, USA. But I thank to God because God is always in control. He take good care of our pastor. He take good care of our first family, ang Adorno family dito. And of course, your family also. Could you imagine that even though you and I experience fierce oppression, God is always with us. Hindi tayo pababayaan, hindi tayo iiwan ng Panginoon. Kaya nga ang tanong ngayon mga kapatid, what is your most oppressive fear? Ano yung pinaka nakapagpapatakot nakapagbibigay sa iyo ng kabigatan o nagbibigay sa iyo ng kapahitian na nagdadahilan upang tumigil ka sa iyong pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Ano yung takot na peron ka sa buhay mo ngayon para sabihin mo, oh, ayoko nang maglingkod sa Panginoon. What is your most oppressive fear? Or maybe, what are you doing to overcome it? Kung alam mo ang takot mo, kung alam mo ang nagbibigay sa iyo ng kapigatian, ang tanong ulit, Ano ang gagawin mo para ma-overcome ito? The psalmist reminds us that let us face fearful prospect. Harapin natin. Harapin natin yung takot na meron tayo sa ating harapan at sa hinaharap. For us to be ready. Kapag hinarap po natin itong takot na ito at hindi natin tatalikuran at sasabihin natin, I can do all things through Christ which is threatened and feed. Wow! Praise the Lord! Could you imagine na kayo maroon kay Rai yeah, Rini? Kay Rai Rini, pag nagpapasket po niya, hindi siya natatakot kahit malaki pa magbanti sa kanya. Amen? Hindi niya natatakot na mag-drive, mag-penetrate. Why? Because I know this is a basketball and I can do all things. Because God is the one who gives me strength. Church, for us to be able to overcome this fear and be able to say that our faith is bigger than our fear, let us face fearful prospects in your life. 
Lahat ng inaasahan mong takot, be an optimistic and be a proactive to face this fear in our lives. And that is what happened to the book of Psalms 56. How the psalmist faced the reality of fear. He faced fearful prospect and he able to say, My fear, my faith is bigger than my fear. What is the number two points? Hindi niya lang harapin, hindi niya lang hinarap, hindi niya lang tayo kinachallenge na harapin natin yung ating fearful prospect. Ang sabi po ng verse 3 ng Psalms chapter 56, What time I am afraid? Sabi niya, I will trust in thee. Point number two, sabi nito, let us fight fear with faith. Alam niya, kaya ang tanong ng, ng, ng psalmist, anong oras? Kailan ako matatakot? Imagine that, sabi ng psalmist, he was in the situation that he was experiencing a distress. He was in the situation that he, are, he was engaged in trouble. Nasa sitwasyon siya ng takot, nasa sitwasyon siya ng pandemic, nasa sitwasyon siya ng kaguluhan ng kanyang buhay. Sabi niya, magkakaroon ba ako ng oras ng takot? Matatakot pa ba ako? Why? Ang sabi niya, because I will trust in thee. Kahit na dumating itong pandemic na ito, kahit na magkaroon ng kabutuman, kahit na magkaroon ng karamdaman, kahit magkaroon ng, pa, ng takot o ng kalungkutan, kalungkutan niya, in times like this, I will trust in thee. Sino pinagkatiwala niya? Ang Panginoon. Kaya nga sabi dito, ang hamon niya sa atin, let us fight fear with faith. Labanan natin ang takot na merong pananampalataya. For us to be able to say that our faith is bigger than our fear, sabihin natin, I will fight fear with faith. Labanan natin yung takot na meron pa na ng panataya. You cannot able, you and I cannot able to fight our fear ng walang pa na ng panataya. Alam nyo, parang siyang isang malaking anino. Kung titignan mo, parang siyang gulaya. Na marami na takot ng mga Israelita. Could you imagine that? Pero ay, no, Pero Johar, Takot na takot sila. Sino bang mananalo dito kay Kiri Julayat? Si Julayat. Giant na Julayat. Pinagsamang Giant sa Kulayat. Julayat. Kasi bakit? Kasi Jutay eh. <laughs> Julayat. Giant na Gulayat. Sino mananalo dito? Tapos mo lang minalabas sa isang batang kasi laki lang ni... 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 Paano mo? Ni ano? Ni... Tungon sa siya? Si Diel? Siguro imagine niyo mo yung itang ni, ni David parang si Diel lang. Ganyan lang kaliit. Pero hindi naman tumutulo si Bolivia lang. Maliit lang. Tapos ang dala lang, bato tsaka yung terutor. At sasabihin niya, ako ang lalaban kay Julaya, giant na Gulaya. Pinagtawa na siya. Kami nga, soldiers, puti ka na sa labat, tapos ikaw lang lalaban. Yung tao ng mga tao ito, na libo-libo, daan-daan mga soldiers ng Israel, ay talagang nagpa-tremble sa kanila, nagpa-shaking sila. But this young King David, face his fear with faith. Ngayon mga kapatid, sabi nun, ang faith and fear are opposites. Ang pananampalataya at ang takot ay magkaiba. That's why, when King David faced Goliath with faith, sabi niya, I can do all things because I know God is with me. Kung ang oso nga na napakalaki, ang liin niya, natalo ko, ito pa kaya itong gulayat na ito. At hindi pwedeng manalo ito because my God is bigger compared to this big gulayat. You know, faith and fear are opposites. When faith and courage arrives right on time, alam nyo, yung pananampalataya po, dumarating po yan ng tama at eksakto po sa oras ng ating pangangailangan. In times of trouble, in times of weaknesses, in times of sicknesses, in times of star, uh, uh, starvation, in times of healing. Remember this, if you find exercise, it will arrive right on time. Kaya nga yung oras na ito may arrive, no sinabi ni, ni, ni David, wala siyang practice. Wala siyang practice, kailangan mo. Hindi, dumating siya doon at sinabi niya, I have faith in the Lord and I know. I can able to beat him and kill him in the name of God. Alam niyo, kapag faith po, pre-practice natin in the 
exercise lahat ng takot po, lahat po ng panghama sa ating buhay, we will be able to overcome this. Why? Because faith and courage arrives right on time. When trust arrives, kapag ang pananampalataya ay dumating sa buhay po natin, ang trembling ay tatangpo. Trembling, please! Yung lahat ng takot mo, yung lahat ng pangamba mo, lahat ng oppression na meron ka, when ang pananampalataya ay dumating sa buhay mo, when your faith ay exercise mo sa iyong buhay, listen to this, trembling, please. Hindi please ha, please. Nalayo. Mawawala. Because we know that God is with us. Church, where do we get this fear fighting faith? Sabi natin, those are point number two. Let us fight our fear with faith. Labanan natin yung takot natin ng merong pananampalataya. Kaya siguro marayan ka ng, Pastor, where do we get this fire and our fear fighting faith? Saan natin itong makukuha itong yung, yung, yung takot na maglaban sa takot ng pananampalataya? Let us read Romans chapter 10 verse 17. For us to be able to have a fire and fear fighting faith, Sabi rito, so then faith cometh by hearing. Hello? Faith cometh by hearing. Yung fear-fighting faith ay nagsisimula daw sa pakikinig. And hearing by the word, by the word of God. Sa pamamagitan ng pakikinig ng salita ng Panginoon, kapatid, kaya hindi mo matalo-talo yung takot mo, kaya hindi mo kaya ma-overcome yung, yung, yung sama ng, ng, ng pakirundang mo, yung takot sa buhay mo. You know the reason why? Because you are not hearing, you even reading the Word of God. Binigyan ka na nga ng oras ng Panginoon, how many months have been locked down? I guess, three months? Tama ba? Three months na ba tayo, teacher net? Three months, ano yung sa loob ng tatlong buwan, I guarantee you, if you read the word of God thoroughly, you are able to finish the Bible, yung 66 words, yung 66 books. Did you believe in that? Kaya mong tapusin at tubusin ang 66 books ng Biblia sa loob ng tatlong buwan kung ikaw ay binasa mo na at pinakindin mo ang salita ng Panginoon. Kung meron kang devotion. At kung ginawa mo yan sa loob ng tatlong buwan na ito, itong pandemic ng ating nangyayari sa ating bansa, sa ating, sa ating mundo, sasabihin mo na sarili mo, Oh, my God is bigger compared this ball virus. Our enemy is unseen. But our God is also unseen, but it is most powerful compared to this virus. Kung alam mo yung salita ng Panginoon, ito yung firefighting, this is the secret, how we be able to overcome the fear in our lives. Fear fighting faith by giving the word of God. Kaya nga sabi po rito, let us saturate our mind with God's word. And we listen to this, faith will drive your fears away. Kaya hindi mo ma-practice yung pananampalataya mo kasi hindi mo nga binabasa yung salita ng Diyos eh. Natatawad ka? Nanlulupay-pay ka because of the situation that we have right now? It times like this? Kung alam mo lang ang Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 that the Bible says ang sabi ng Joshua in times of trouble ang sabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua Joshua sabi lang, I have not commanded you be strong and have a good courage do not be dismayed, nor uh, do not be discouraged, nor be dismayed. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? Malakang pakalakas ka, huwag kang matakot, huwag kang manlubaybay, sapagat ako ang Diyos mo, nasa sa iyo, saan ka man, pumunta. If you know the Word of God, if you are saturated your mind with God's Word, this very message of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 will be a true, a relevant, and a correct to your life. For you to be able and easy overcome your fears in your life. Kasi ito nga po yung salita ng Panginoon. Kapag alam yung salita ng Panginoon, you will be able to hold on, to exercise your faith, and because of that faith, your problems, your fears, ay mawawala po yan. Alam nyo, almost 3,000, more than 3,000 promises, can you imagine that? More than 3,000 promises that God's written in the world in the book. 
of Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Pangako ng Panginoon yun. At ang bawat pangako ng Panginoon, ito na yung pangako na hindi na mabalik. Ito na yung pangako kailanman ay hindi kailanman na pasisinungan niya. Pagkat ang pangako ng Panginoon ay nangyayari po yan. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God still remain. Lahat mawawala, pero ang salita ng Panginoon at ang kanyang pangako kailanman ay hindi mawawala. Church, for us to be able to fight our trouble, our fear, our scenario sa ating buhay, and able to say that our faith is bigger than our fear. Let us faith fight fear with faith. Labanan natin ang ating takot na merong pananampalataya at harapin natin ang, ang mga takot na darating sa ating buhay. Amen? How can we fight our fear if we're not able to face our, our prospect fear in our life? For us to be able to overcome this faith, this, this prospect fear in our life, let us fight fear with faith. Amen? Kaya nga itong Salmist na ito, even though he is, was, he is surrounded by troubles, surrounded by enemies, because of the kindness, because of the powerful, because of the sovereign power of God, because of the promise of the Lord that He would never leave him, nor forsake him, he is able to face his fear kahit yung sitwasyon niya ngayon at sa harapin niya, and he is also able to fight his fear with faith. Church, I encourage you, in times like this, I know you are now in a situation that parang feeling mo you are in trouble. Remember, even though you are in trouble situation, God is in trouble, God is in control. He is able to help you. Thirdly, sabi rito, and this will be the last, Psalms 26 verse 11. Amen. Nandiyan pa rin kayo. Let us enjoy study the word of God. Psalms 26 verse 11. The Bible says, In God have I put my trust. Sabi ko, In God, sa Diyos, aking inilalagap ang aking pagditiwala. O dahil nilagap niya ang kanyang pagditiwala sa Panginoon, He is able to, be, to fight the fear with faith and He is able to face the fear prospects. Sabi niya, Bakit pa ako natakot? That's why he said, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Praise God. Sabi niya, in God, I have put my trust. And listen to this. Ang sabi niya, I will not be afraid. Hindi na ako matatakot kahit may COVID pa dyan. Because I know, I know, I'm observing social distancing, I'm wearing masks, I'm very careful, I'm staying at home. Bakit ako mangangamba? Plus factor, ang Panginoon kasama mo pa. Amen? Kaya sabi niya, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. By the way, ang COVID po, mas matindi mo po yung 1900s ako, yung influenza, Spanish influence, yung Spanish influenza, million-million po ang namatay po doon, diba? Yung influenza, no? Spana? Yung flu? Na, ano? Spanish flu? Influenza? Influenza. No, sorry. No? Million, million po. Taka yung second wave po na yun. That's why I encourage you. Let us always observe distancing. Let us always observe put mask in, in face. Why? Kasi yung nangyari po doon sa influenza, sa Spanish flu, mas da, da, yung nag-impis na mag-flattening the verb, siya nang nag because of the excitement. Pero sabi nito, yung fear na meron ka ngayon kapatid, yung takot na meron ka ngayon kapatid, na may takot din ako ngayon. Kung sasabihin mo that you are putting your trust in the Lord. The Bible says in Psalms 118 verse 8 that it is better to put our trust in the Lord. It is better to put our trust in the Lord than confidence unto men. Kaya nga sinabi ng Psalms na ito, ng mga awit na ito, In God I have put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Kaya nga, point number three, Hindi niya lang po hinarap ang takot. Hindi niya lang nilalabanan ang takot na mayroon pala ng palataya. But this service, faith fixed on God. Sabi niya nito, ang pananampalataya na nakasentro o ang pananampalataya na nakaayon sa Diyos makes the fear of men flee. 
Kung ikaw at ako, ang pagtitiwala mo ay nasa Diyos. Kaka nakafix ka na. Hello, listen to this. Nakafix ka na. Ibig sabihin nakafix, naka-steady. Ibig sabihin nakafix, nakaput ka na. Nakaput ka na, nakalagat ka na. You put your trust in the Lord. Ang sabi rito, makes the fear of man flee. Wow, what a promise of God. Makes the fear of man flee. I encourage you, church. Kung ikaw na sa sitwasyon na meron kang anxiety, meron kang takot, meron kang oppression, why not you to fix your faith unto God? Fix your faith unto God. Well, this is the promise of God to Psalmist. It's the same promise to us today that our fear ay aalasin ng Panginoon sa ating mga. Kitaon natin dito, most of our fears originate in distrust of people. Karamihan po ng ating takot po ay nagsisimula po sa hindi pagkatiwala sa mga tao. Di ba kaya nga, pag parang institusyon natin, it is a classic example. The time the example po, COVID, the pandemic. Dahil wala kang tiwala sa tao, natatakot ka ngayon mag pag usap sa kanya. Dahil wala kang takot, di wala sa tao, natatakot ka, baka mahawaan ka, ang gagawin mo, imbis na kausapin mo siya, share mo siya ng gospel, hindi mo na siya masashare mo ngayon. Alam nyo, in times like this, this is the perfect situation, this is a very timely na i-take natin advantage to share our friends, your classmate, your offsmate, it is very timely today. In times like this, I know every one of us experiencing oppression, Every one of us experiencing problems and fears. Why not to take this advantage, to take this opportunity to share with them about the promise of God? Kasi ang problema, because hindi tayo nakitiwala, baka mahawa tayo, natatakot tayo kayo. You know, we worry about what they think of us. The reason why we are feared and we experience anxiety is because we worry about baka ano sabihin sa akin ng mga tao ito. Kasi pastor, kapag hindi ko ginawa, ginawa ko ito, lumapit ako sa inyo, baka sabihin nila, meron po ako, i-reject na ako. Don't worry about that. Kaya ka natatakot, kaya ka, kaya ka hindi magawa yung gustong gawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo kasi natatakot ka kung anong iisipin at sasabihin ng ibang tao. Hey, listen to this. We are not saved by God to please people. We are saved and created by God to please God alone. Kaya ka natatakot kasi lagi mo sinasabi, baka kung anong iisipin ng kapitbahay ko, kung anong sasabihin ng mga kamag-anak ko, kung anong sasabihin ng mga mahal ko sa buhay, anong sasabihin ng mga classmate ko, ng mga ka-office ko, eh, listen to this, kaya ka natatakot kasi wala kang tiwala sa sarili mo at wala kang tiwala sa ibang tao. Why not you to say to yourself that I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God? That I am created according to the image of God. And whatever that I have in my life, this is a blessing. Kapatid, blessing ka. Ano mang meron ka sa buhay mo, ano mang itsura mo, blessing niyan. Why? Because you are created by God. According to His image. Do not be worried about what others think about you. Huwag mo isipin kung anong sasabihin ng mga tao sa'yo. Ang importante, isipin mo kung anong sasabihin ng Diyos tungkol sa'yo. And if you're able to glorify God ng buong buhay mo, listen to this, God will bless you abundantly. The reason why we are experiencing fear is because we are able to trust people trust us. And even yourself, even ourselves. We distrust their motives and fear their agendas. Nag-iisip kagad tayo sa mga, uy, baka ito si Jomar, eh, meron lang itong hidden agenda, bakit lang yung mag-ihibigan sa akin ito? Baka may crush na sa akin to. Or maybe sabihin, ako, ayoko mga ipag-ibig niyang kay Samantha. Kasi pa, may pagdang ipag-ibig niyang Samantha, baka pag Samantha lahan daw. Kasi Samantha, Samantha lahan. <laughs> Nawawala yung, yung objective. Nawawala yung purpose ng buhay to go and teach all nations. Nawawala yung objective and purpose ng Panginoon to, to become a witnesses from Judea, from, from Jerusalem to Judea, to Samaria, to the uttermost. Because of what? na hindi tayo nagkitiwala sa ibang tao. Pag may lumapit sa iyo, be a friendly people. Why? Because God is also a friendly person. Do not choose people na kakaibiganin. But rather, be a friendly to other people. Why? Because salvation is available to all of us. 
Salvation is available to those who believe, to all who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we need to be what? Flee from fears. Lumayo, ayawan natin ang at, 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 takot that cost us na hindi ma-reach ang mga tao and it exercise faith. Let us fix our mind, let us fix our focus to God and God will help us to overcome this situation in our lives. The true faith begins when we receive Christ as Savior. Just listen to this. Ang totoong pananampalataya po para may exercise mo at masabi mo that your faith is bigger than your fear, it begins with when you and I receive Christ as a Lord and Savior. You know, kaya ka siguro natatakot because you have no Christ. Kaya ka siguro natatakot because hindi mo alam si Kristo ang nagbigtas sa iyo. Siguro kaya natatakot ka na hindi mo ma-overcome lahat ng mga anxiety mo, ng problema kasi hindi mo talaga totoong tinanggap si Kristo. Church, why not you to secure your faith? Why not you to secure your acceptance to the Lord? Sigurihin mo sarili mo na ah, totoo mong tinanggap ko ang Panginoon. Kung sinasabi mo na totoo mong tinanggap ko ang Panginoon para sa simula pa lamang ng iyong pananampalataya, huwag kang matakot. Huwag kang matakot. You know, one of my biggest fear in my life, yung dumaan sa madilim ng, ng tulay ng tulay B. Yan sa tulay ng taas. That is my greatest fear. Tatatakot talaga na kung nakakamoy pa ako ng amoy patis. Tinatakot ako. Kaya ako dyan, aligagang-aligang, kapag ako lang dumadaan dyan. Naalala ko, nagbumutor pa ako, halos malusok na ako sa butas, kamamadali. But you know, when I told to myself, said to myself, oh, ba't ako matatakot? Eh, may Kristo ko, na lagi kasama sa akin. Starts from that, that day. Sabi ko, Lord, sorry. Tinagap kita bilang Diyos sa tagapagigas, kamatayin nga, na-overcome mo eh. Death, you're able to overrule death. And even this world, how much more this amoy patis ng tulay B hindi ko ma-overcome and I think God, kahit gabi na ako kahit na ako nalang mag-isa sa dilim, I know may liwanag akong kasama ng mga kay Kristo true faith begins when we receive Christ as a Savior that's why I encourage you my brother and my friend who are watching right now and listening right now for you to be able to overcome this fear in your life for you to be able to overcome this world in your life this situation in your life why not you to begin to accept Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life? Open your heart, open your mind, and begin to accept Him. And believe me, according to the Word of God, ang sabi niya, that whosoever believe in Him should not be perished, but have an everlasting life. That is the promise of God for you and for me. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Paniwalaan mo lang, panampalatayanan ng Panginoong si Cristo. That is all. Nothing more, nothing less. Just come to the Lord. Ask him prayer, eh, ask him forgiveness. True faith begins when we receive Christ as a Savior. Sabi ng Bible in Romans chapter 5 verse 1, Therefore being justified by faith. Because of faith, anong makukuha natin sa ating pananampalataya? We have peace with God. Dahil sa pananampalataya, pinatunayan tayo, ginastified tayo ng ating pananampalataya, you and I, in the situation of this pandemic, in the situation of this anxiety, in the situation of oppression, ang sabi rito, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, alam mo ako, nangusado ako nung naiingit po sa mga batang ito. Parang gusto ko bumalik ulit sa mga itatidyel, ni Gadri, parang walang problema, no? Parang napaka-easy lang ng buhay nila. Hindi komplikado. Pero pag naging kasi ikat niya ni Ate Sai, ni Ate Joma, ni Ate Joy, dyan na sagsisimula yung complication, you know? Nagiging komplikado na hanggang sa ilagay ko sa status ng Facebook mo, it's complicated. But you know, if you're in Christ, kung nakay Kristo ka, oh, listen to this, everything in your life become easy and okay. Because you know that even though you, you experience trouble in your life, even though you experience trials in your life, even though you experience oppression in your life, as I in the Bible, because of this faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the reason why. It begins by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. Church, my friend, open your heart, open your mind. We need Christ in our lives. The Holy Spirit then comforts us. Because of the Holy Spirit, the one 
who gives us the love of God. Sabi rito, He is the one, the Holy Spirit is the one who comforts us. The Holy Spirit expelling fears. Expelling means, kaya niyang alisin agad-agad. Kaya niyang tanggalin agad-agad lahat ng takot na meron ka. Just believe in the Lord. Just believe in His promise that God is in control. God is in control. Church, the Bible says in John chapter 14, verses 26 to 27, ang sabi nito, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, He shall teach you all things. Wow! Imagine that. Yung Holy Spirit na ibigay sa atin ng Panginoon, Siya yung magtuturo sa atin. Paano natin malalagpasan yung takot mo? Sa school, kung nakatakot ka na baka hindi ka makapasa, sa school, natatakot ka baka hindi ka makapagtapos na yung pag-aaral, oh, the Holy Spirit is the one who comforts us and tells us and teach us kung paano natin mauubigam nito. Yung gutom, yung pandemic na ito, yung sitwasyon na meron tayo, sabi niya, He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I had said unto you. Peace I leave with you. Kapayapaan ang ibigay ng Diyos. Hey, are you glad? Are you glad that God is the one who is the source of our peace? Believe in the Lord. Maniwala tayo sa Panginoon that God is in control. He is the one who gives us peace. Sabi niya dito in verse 27, Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gave it. Hindi kaya nito kayo sa libutan. Yung kapayapaan kay Ray, hindi kaya nito kayo sa libutan. Ano ba yung ino-offer niya sa libutan? Pera? Hindi kaya ng pera itong basta ng kapayapaan para magkaroon ka ng kapayapaan. The more na marami ng pera, mas marami ng problema, di ba? Success. Position. Magibigay sa atin ng kapayapaan? Hindi. Basta ka magibigay sa atin ng problema. Alalahanin. Right? Pamilya. Magkakaroon ka ng kapayapaan. Pag nagkasaka mo na siguro ako, magkakaroon ako ng kapayapaan. Hindi. Magiging magulo ba? Right? Pero sabi ng Bible, kung ikaw ay na kay Kristo at meron ka pa na ng palataya, kahit marami kang pera, kahit marami kang trabaho, kahit marami kang bagay sa mundo mo, o meron ka mang kalimutan, ang Diyos ang magbibigyan ng kapayapaan, kaya niya i-ayos yan. Anong dapat natin gawin? Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Unahin natin ang Diyos. Unahin natin ang Diyos. Sabi niya rito, I peace I live to you, may peace I give unto you, not the word give, but give I unto you. Let but your heart be troubled. Hey, are you glad that Jesus said this to you and to me, to me right now? Hindi ka ba natutuwa ng sabi ng Panginoon? Let not your heart be troubled, neither let be afraid. Amen. Siguro si, si Ninang Let, yan ang comfort mo yun, Ninang, ano? Three months? Ang hirap kaya niyo na walang kaya ako sa gabi. Yung ulit pangit ka niyo, si, si, si Gadiel, Gadrin. Siyempre, iba pa rin yung pagliyayak ako yung chubby, chubby body ni, yung chubby, chubby arms ni Nino, no? Yung pagsasabi niya, good morning, good night, personally, nakakalungkot. Ako nga, ako nga teacher, Nina, no? One week lang ako sa China. Gabi-gabi talaga ako sa kami. Nakakalungkot, one week lang yun. How much for three months? But this is the good news. This is the good news. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, when the time of trouble, in times of Fear. Sabi niya, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Are you glad that God is the one who promised this for you? Are you that glad that, that you find peace in God's promise, in God's word? Oh, ito po ang tayong gawin ng Panginoon at naman ng Espiritu. You know, the psalmist found he didn't have to fear people. Nasumpungan po ng mga awit ng manunulat ng Book of Psalms na hindi niya kailangan matakot sa tao. Eh, hey, listen to this. Hindi mo kailangan matakot sa tao, Kuya Ryan. Kahit na six-footer pa yan, pag crinos over mo yan, okay? Kapag penetary shot mo yan, kapag nilayapan mo yan at binalik mo sa kanan, kahit gano'ng pakalaki yan, kahit soto pa yan, walang magagawa sila. Why? Because you are confident that you're able to. Because you are and you are confident to your, to your skills. Same thing with our Christians. Same thing with, with us as a believers. Sabi rito, do not fear to people. Why this psalm is able to say this? Because why? His trust in God 
cause his fear for man to flee. Yung kanya pagtitiwala sa Diyos ang naging dahilan upang ang takot niya sa tao ay mawala. This is also the reason why we are able to overcome our fears. Why? Because this guy, this son, this discovered God was bigger than all his fears. Amen. Psalmist discovered God was bigger than all his fears. Church, I encourage you. Your fears and my fears cannot comparable to our big God. Our God was bigger than all our fears. Our God is bigger compared to our big problem. Our God is bigger compared to the big and giant Goliath. Let us put our trust in the Lord. And let us fix on God. Your faith, church, listen to this. For us to be able to say that our God was bigger than all, uh, our God is bigger than all our fears, let us fix our faith on God. And it makes the fear of our lives ay mawawala. If we know our situation to God, at nakafix ka sa Panginoon, ang iyong pananampalataya, you will be able to fight your fear with faith. Kaya mong labanan ang mga takot ng buhay mo na meron pa na napalataya. And listen, listen, because of this power, because of this confidence, you and I are able to face our fearful prospects. Yung mga situation na ating katakot, yung mga haharapin pa natin takot sa ating buhay, we will be able to say, I can do all things through Christ because He is the one who is threatening me. And you and I are able to say that my God, our God is weaker than our fears. Church, let's go to the Lord. Let us put our trust in the Lord. Psalms 118 verse 8, it is better to put our trust in the Lord than confidence unto men. Church, madali po, magtiwala lang po tayo sa Panginoon. Kaya nga tanong po namin ngayong gabi nito, ito bang sitwasyon ng ating buhay ngayon ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit po tayo nangangamba? You are in a situation this time that you are uh, experience anxiety, experience fear in your life, experience distresses in your life. The Bible is very clear. In 1 John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, ang sabi niya rito, this is the perfect love cast out fear. Sabi rito sa verse 18, this is no fear in love. Walang takot sa pag-ibig. But perfect love Cast it out fear. Ang perfectong pag-ibig at ang perfectong pag-ibig po ay masusumpungan sa Diyos ang siyang mag-aalis po sa atin ng takot. Fear. Because fear had torment. He that feared is not made perfect in love. And that perfect love comes from the Lord. In John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so love the world. That is the perfect love na pwede natin makuha po ngayon. Church, let us respond in faith to God's will and be free. If you and I respond in faith to God's love, kung ikaw at ako ay magre-respond ng ating pananampalataya sa pag-ibig ng Diyos, kung ikaw at ako ngayon na nakaka-experience po ng anxiety, nakaka-experience po ng trouble, you are in a situation, distressed ka ngayon, or troubled ka ngayon, why not you and I experience or exercise faith? Let us respond in faith. Mag-respond po tayo sa ating pananampalataya sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. At ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay kaya magligtas ng kaluluwa 
Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay kaya magligtas ng buhay. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay kaya magbago ng buhay just like what happened to Apostle Paul. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay kaya baguhin ang masamang buhay ng tao. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay kaya mag-alis ng isang tao mula sa impyerno na papunta patungong langit. Iyan po ay dahil po sa ating pananagantay. At dahil po sa pag-ibig ng Diyos, ito din po ang magbibili sa atin ng kapayapaan. Church, my friend, who's listening right now, let us respond in faith to God's love and be free. Open your heart and open your mind. I know, I know, hindi pa natin alam kung kailan natin ang ilan itong pandemic na ito. I don't know kung hanggang saan ito matatapos. Siguro maraming natatakot pa rin, baka hindi na maging normal ang buhay ng tao. Marami ng sitwasyon sa isip natin na pumapasok na baka pangmatagalan ito o baka mahawa ka. Why not you to secure yourself, your position in the sight of God? Bakit mo hindi upisahan na tanggapin si Kristo sa buhay mo? Because faith begins when you and I receive Christ in your life. You cannot be able to exercise your faith unto the Lord if you are not open your heart and accept Him as the Lord and Savior of your life. Why not you to open your heart and accept Him as the Lord and Savior? Pastor, paano po tatanggapin? Paano po mabilis na po ba? Yes. Admit to yourself that you are sinners. Lahat po tayo ang kasalanan. As it is written in Romans 3.10, there is no righteous, no that one. 3.23 said, we come full short from the glory of God. And because of that sin, ang kabayaran po ay kamatayan, Romans and Israel. But this is the good news. God offers His life. He died on the cross for you and for me. That whosoever believe in Him should not be perished, but have an everlasting life. Come to the Lord and be free. Experience love from the Lord. And you will experience salvation and freedom from fears. Kung gusto mo tanggapin ng Panginoon, sumabay ka sa gandong uri ng panalangin. Ikaw na nanonood ngayon. Ikaw na merong pakinig, mata, na susumpong ng gawain na ito sa oras na ito. Hindi man kita kilala. Kaibigan man kita, classmate man kita, o kaibigan kita kapamilya. Open your heart and accept it as a Lord and Savior of your life. Let us bow our head and pray. Sunod ka sa gandong panalangin, takilang Diyos, aming Ama. Maraming maraming salamat po. Naitindihan ko po ang paanyaya po ng buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya sa oras nito, Panginoon, gusto ko pong ipractice ang pananampalataya. At ang pananampalataya na ito ay gusto kong ilagap po sa inyo. Patawad po, Panginoon, sa lahat ng ating kasalanan. Linisin niyo po ng inyong banal dugo ang aking buhay. Salamat sapagkat sa pamamagitan ng kamatayan ninyo sa krus ng Kalbaryo, ako ay nagkaroon ng pag-asa. Salamat po, Panginoon. At sa oras na ito, tinatanggap kita bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas ng aking buhay. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa buhay na walang hanggan na iyong binigay. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Kung sumunod ka sa panalangin ng pagtanggap at gusto mo mang mas malaman, mas maraming matutunan at malaman ang katiyakan ng lubusan, pari mo akong i-text, kawagan, or message sa aking personal account at nawa ay matulungan kita sa iyong buhay pananampalatay. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. At kayo po sa aking mga mahal na kapatiran, Maranata International Baptist Church of Margundon, Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church na i- at sa mga bawat mananampalatayan na nakarinig po na itong panutuntunan na ito ng ating paglilingkod at pagsamba sa Panginoon. Kung meron ka pang takot sa buhay mo at naging dahilan upang ikaw ay sumuko, upang ikaw ay pumigil sa iyong pananampalataya, why not you to put your trust in the Lord once again? Surrender your life. The Word of God, the promise of God will never fail. Hindi kailanman magkakamali at ikakamali ang salita ng Panginoon. Tapat siya sa kanyang pangako. Tinutupad niya ang kanyang pangako. E nag-iingat siya at nagbibigay siya ng kaligtasan. Why not you to put your trust in the Lord once again? Trust Him. 
come to the Lord once again. Believe in Him that the saving grace and power able to help us to overcome our fears. Remember, our God is bigger compared to our big problem. Even in our fears, let our fears, kagaya ng ating title po, asabi po doon, let your feet be bigger than your fear. Hayaan mo na ang iyong pananagpalagtaya ay higit na mas malaki kaysa iyong tama. Exercise your faith. Exercise your faith in the Lord. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord God, sa iyong salita. Ngayon, Panginoon, kami ay nananalangin, lumalapit at nananambahan sa iyo. Marami kami takot, Panginoon, sa oras na ito. Takot sa anumang nangyayari sa aming mundo. Takot nangyayari sa aming bayan, bayan sa Pilipinas. Takot sa nangyayari sa aming lugar. Sapagat sa nangyayari po sakit na lumalaganap. Lord, alam po namin na natural na maramdaman namin ang takot. Pero yung hindi namin mapraktis ang aming pananampalataya, ito ay isang abnormal. That's why, Father God, we are come to you. Coming to you, Father God, and ask forgiveness. And right now, Father God, we are here and praying once again. Let our faith begin today. May exercise namin, Panginoon, ang aming pananampalataya. Hindi kami tatitingin sa takot sa mga tao. Hindi kami titingin sa anong sasabihin ng tao. Hindi kami titingin sa anong sasabihin ng sabihin mo na. kami ay magpo-focus sa iyo, Panginoon. At maglalagak ng aming pananampalataya. Alam namin, Panginoon, na hindi mo kami papabayaan at hindi mo kami iwan. Salamat, O Diyos. Salamat sa mensahe na ibinigay mo sa amin ngayong umaga ngayong gabi ito. Let our fear be bigger than our fears. Let our faith be bigger than our fears. Lord, thank you so much for that assurance. And there is no big problem compared to our big God. Praise God for that, Lord Jesus. Yan mo kami na ma-overcome namin ito, Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat. Salamat o Diyos sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. And amen. Magandang, magandang hapat po sa inyo lahat. And thank you, Church. And, uh, Hello at maraming salamat po sa lahat po na kasama po namin mga kapatidang po ngayon. So, uh, tawagin po natin ang ating uh, leader po, Brother Riley, for our stoxology and for our offering, no? Para may offering tayo. This is our first offering sa MIPC, no, teacher net, no? This is our first offering. So, magkakaroon po tayo ng first offering after three months. So, offering po tayo. So, yung mga bata, I encourage you, kahit po anong meron kayo, kahit points, piso, Offer to you sa Panginoon. This will be recorded. No? This will be recorded. Ito pong ating offering. Kayo po dyan na sa church. Membro kayo ng MIPC. Kung may chance po kayo na mag-offering for the Lord. No? This is for the Lord. Just give it to the Lord. Your tithes and offering, ibarik po natin sa Panginoon ang ating pagbibigay. And on the post, the burn of the faith of this church, no? tayo po ay uh, magkakaloob po. No? Kung meron po kayo chance, give it to the Lord and let the Lord be glorified through your giving and through your offering. Let us come to the Lord. Talk about this in the writing for our example.
sa kanila ang mga kasalanan pa noon at nawabuhay kayo po ang patuloy na magpatawad sa mga kasalanan pa noon at sa aming mga naisip na sasabi na gagawa pa noon. At nawabuhay sa inyo po ang aming kapurit pa sa salamat at ito po ang aming samat na lang sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. 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 Salamat, Brother Riley. Okay po. So, bago tayo mag-closing song, bago tayo mag-closing song, sa mananswit na po on Wednesday, sa so, Wednesday, okay, okay, may offering na po tayo. Thank you so much. So, so Wednesday po, ang ating prayer meeting po, uh, Pastor Marvin, taga-MIPC po si Pastor Marvin, ang uh, uh, speaker po natin sa ating prayer meeting sa MIPC. At sa tabernacle po, uh, uh, please uh, stand by for, uh, for the announcement for that. And of course, happy birthday sa lahat ng may mga birthdays sa month of May. Happy birthday and anniversary kahapon po, sa araw, birthday ni Ma'am Cress. And anniversary din po nila ng Nazareno uh, Kopol, uh, Tati Uro, and Nani uh, Crest. Happy anniversary and happy birthday to Ma'am Crest. And all the birthday celebrant po ng, meron kayo dyan, wala no? Ng birthday celebrant po ng May. Happy, happy birthday! So, happy birthday po sa inyo lahat. Sige, okay na po yun. So, happy birthday po sa inyo lahat and happy anniversary. So, yun po. And of course, uh, mamayon gabi po, if you have time, 11.45, Please do watch or join us sa worship service po ng Maranata Baptist Church, McAnin, Texas, Darren Miller, 11.45 in the evening. So, sa kanila po ay 10.45 in the morning, Texas time. Malamang si Pastor Adonan na dyan po at uh, makikilig po si Pastor, ang ating mga Pastor. 10.45 in the morning, McAnin, Texas. Sa atin naman po, 11.45 in the evening. Mamaya po yan, uh, Pastor uh, Darren Miller. And of course, hi to all the pastors. All frontliners, the pastors, thank you so much. And please continue to pray for our pastor, Pastor Ramiro Adona. Uh, sa anihing na siya po ay mag-fulfill niya yung kanyang uh, mission do sa stage. And of course, makabalik po siya ng sinong sang dito sa Pilipinas. Right here, Riley? Amen. Namin sa naman natin? Sobra po. Sobra po. We wish you, Pastor Adona. Thank you so much for your heart, for your, uh, uh, for your, uh, mean. Dito yung flag mo, yung dito po yung mga, uh, Patira na, sis ka na po namin, Pastor. Please be careful with your heart. Hello po. So, thank you so much. Uh, Maranata, Makanin, Texas. Pastor Darth, thank you so much for joining us. Early in the morning, he woke up 4 o'clock in the morning just to join us tonight, today. 3 o'clock just to join us today. Thank you so much for your heart. So, truly, we are encouraged by your good deeds and your kind and encouraging words. So, thank you so much, all the pastors, frontliners, thank you so much. Let us sing a song, a closing song. I know who holds tomorrow, and after that, we will close in prayer. Amen. Let us sing. Bluetooth has been disconnected.
to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, we thank you because we are secured and assured that you are the one who holds our future. Even our lives today, you are the one holding us. That's why, Father God, thank you so much. In times like this, we are truly confident and assured that we are in a safe situation because God is in control. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We continue to pray, Father God, for our pastor, Adonna, na sa Anaheim, California, USA. Help me, Father God, keep him safe and sound every day of his life, every moment that he spent in that place until such time na makabalik na siya Panginoon sa Pilipinas. Provide all things for him as well to his family. I pray, Father God, for all the brethren in Maranatha International Baptist Church of Maranatha. Whatever situation that we have right now, we pray, Father God, that you are the one who meet them in the most special way. Whatever it is, Lord God, physically, financially, emotionally, and spiritually as well. Help them, Father God. As well, the Bernard and the Faith Baptist Church, Manana, at the Church uh, Naik, brethren, we are praying for them. Yung sitwasyon nila, Panginoon, ngayon, Lord God, I pray for them, Lord God. Naingat na mo sila. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pakitalam ko, hindi mo sila papabayan, hindi mo kami iwanan, at hindi mo kami lalagpasan. Salamat, O Diyos, sa kanilang pagtatapat. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pag-ibig nila sa kanilang pastor at maging sa bawat kapatidang. Ngata mo sila, ilayo sa ating magkaramdaman, pag-ibig sila, Panginoon. Nandun rin, Lord God, ang mga kapatidang sa Cyprus, kapatidang sa Amerika, sa New Zealand, sa Australia, sa Canada, sa Hong Kong, sa Kingdom Saudi Arabia, sa Qatar, sa Middle East, at sa iba't ibang lugar pa ng Pilipinas at ng buong bansa. I pray for them, Father God, that you may keep them safe and sound. Meet them, Father God, in the most special way. And help them, Father God, that be able to overcome the fears that we have right now. And they may be able to exercise faith over fears. And be able to say that their faith is bigger than their fears. Father God, thank you for your words. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the reminders. And thank you, Father God, for your love. We also pray, Father God, for all our sister church, all the pastors, Maranatha Baptist Church, California, USA, Gethsemane Baptist Church, Maranatha International Baptist Church, and Fellowship Churches, Bishop De Vega, and the rest of the pastors, ng MIBC, ng Maranatha International Baptist Church, Fellowship Churches, all the frontliners, and even the pastors also are frontliners, I pray for them, Lord God, for all of them. Pray for the nurses, the, the, the medical staff, the doctors, the health staff, Lord God, and the men in uniform, the police, and the soldiers, the LGUs, the volunteers, the non-government organization, the private corporation, and all the pe pe people, Lord God, who are exerting, exerting their effort, Lord God, to help the mankind to overcome and eliminate this pandemic. Thank you for their hearts and their love upon us. May you sustain them and keep them safe and sound, even their families. As well, Father, we pray for all the PUIs and PUMs and those who are affected and affect, uh, uh, affected of the virus, Lord God. We are praying for them that they may heal totally and completely their God. Help them, Father God, that they may overcome this kind of illness. And also, Father God, I pray for the family who are, their families are dying because of this virus, because of this illness, Lord God. I pray for their agony, that you may keep them safe and sound, and comfort them, Father God, with your precious heart and precious love, Father God. Lord, we thank you and praise you. We continue to pray for our government, our president, Duterte, and the rest of the leaders of this nation. We pray, Father God, from the LGUs, from the barangay, to the mayors, and to governors, and to the, up to the president of this nation. Give them wisdom, give them knowledge, and give them, Father God, a sufficient strength for them to be able to overcome this distress, Lord God. Lord, we also pray for the vaccine. Lord, that we may be able to, to, to discover the vaccine for this pandemic, Panginoon. I pray for the flattening the curve, for the uh, hindrances, for the hinder the, the escalation of a uh, pandemic virus. Thank you, Father God, for your love. Not only here in the Philippines, but as well to other nations. Keep us safe and sound. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. At muli, Panginoon, sa pagkataas ng kamay na iyong walang kabulang ilipid, ngatan niyo ang bawat isa sa amin, pagpalain niyo ang bawat isa, Panginoon, gabayan ang bawat isa 
sa aming mga buhay. Sa pangalan ng Ama ng Anak at Espiritu Santo. Amen and Amen. Maraming 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 salamat Church for being with us tonight. And to God be all the glory and hi to our brethren from Cyprus, from uh, Kingdom Saudi Arabia, from Middle East, from Hong Kong, from Japan, from Australia, dyan sa kamagalang ni Teacher Ned, si Mga Ati from Australia, from Canada, from New Zealand, from USA, Colorado, Spring County, and uh, Tess Matambayan, and Anshano, and of course, sa lahat ng mga kapatiran sa Taiwan, si Sir Seth, and of course, yung mga kapatiran natin dyan sa iba't ibang sang magbandako ng mundo. And of course, Kamusta rin po at binabati rin po natin ng magandang hapon lahat ng mga kapatidang dito po sa buong Pilipinas, sa Palawan, mga magulang kamag-anak ang aming mga pastor Adona, ang Adona families, of course, ang mga taga-Palawan, taga-Bulacan, taga-Taglak, and so on and so forth. Nasaan man kayong dako ng Pilipinas at dako ng mundo, maraming salamat po sa inyo and God bless us all. Of course, all my friends, my families, my relatives, no? mga kamag-anak, kaibigan, sa dako ng mundo, sa dako ng Pilipinas, we love you. Keep safe, stay at home, and be safe. God bless us all, at magandang hapon sa inyo. Good night, and God bless. Bye-bye.